Hey everyone, I am Zueb Khan and I am a senior front-end engineer. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a dark mode to your Angular Material app in three steps. This is our final result showing some sample UI elements and the dark mode toggle switch. How did we do this? Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a new Angular app if you haven't created one already. Uh, to do this, we can run ng-new and the project name. Uh, and this is going to take a while to install your dependencies. The next step is to add the Angular Material Library to our project. Since this will take a bit of time, I've already created a project and added the Angular Material Library to it. The next step is to add a theme to it. There are pre-built themes available for material, but for adding a dark mode, we need to add our own custom theme. This can be done in the styles.sass file. If you go to the Angular Material theming docs, you will find a sample of a custom theme included here. Let's uh, copy this up and paste it into our styles.sass file. As you can see, there are three colors defined here for primary, accent, and worn. This is according to material design specs um, in which we can choose from 19 different colors. Let's change the primary color to a teal color and also remove the candy references in our variables. Great. So this is our default light theme. To test this out, I'll add a couple of UI elements and lay them out using flex layout so we can see the effect of our dark mode changes. I'm copying in the changes here and then importing the modules in my app.module.ts file to make it all work. Let's save. And when we do ng-serve right now, we'll get our basic light mode version working. Next, let's add our alternate dark theme. To do that, we add a new SAS variable. We add a new SAS variable called app dark theme but we change the function to matte dark theme. This will ensure that the background and the foreground colors are set correctly for the dark mode. You can keep the primary accent and the worn colors as the same as I have, but if you want, you can also change them. Lastly, we are just going to include our new dark mode theme inside a class name called dark mode. Now, whenever we want to apply the dark mode, we'll just need to add this class to our topmost parent in the app. Let's go ahead and try this and add the dark mode class to our parent, which has all of the components and see what we get. So as you can see, the dark mode is, in, uh, is taking effect. If we remove it, we'll get our light mode back. Great. Great. So now that we have added our custom dark mode theme, we need to add a switch control to allow adding this class name dynamically to our parent container. Let's add a matte slide toggle control to our toolbar. Also, let's add two icons. The first one would be brightness underscore five, representing the light mode. And the second one will be bedtime, 
representing the night mode. <clears throat> Let's see how this looks. Okay, so as you can see, we need some styling to make this look good. Let's add an empty div here with the class of flex stretch. Now flex stretch is uh, a style that we have already added in our style source as file and it represent it will sort of stretch the div right to the end of the toolbar which would make our icons in the slide toggle align to the extreme right. The second thing we need to do is to add some margins. So we have kept another style called margin right MR8 and we will apply it here uh, to the slide toggle and to the material icon so that we can have some spacing. Let's test this out again. Great. Now it seems to be uh, positioned well and looks great. Now let's add the form control for the toggle in our component code. And give it a default value of false, which means the light mode. Let's also add our host binding. Decorator to our class, to our parent component. And give it a default empty value, empty string value. Since, a comp since this component is a root component of the app, applying our dark mode class here will mean switching to dark mode throughout our app. And then in the ng-on-init function, we are going to listen to our toggle control value changes. And simply assign the value of the class name to dark mode if it is if the slide is toggled and if it's not then we make it empty uh, the the last thing that we need to do is to just add the form control directive to it so that this knows which control this corresponds to great now if we test now we can see that it works. So now we have a functional and good looking dark mode toggle. Okay, so there's just one problem here and if we try that out we'll see and if you try opening a dialog now in the light mode it will appear fine but if you switch to dark mode and you open the dialog you will still get the dialog for the light mode. This is because UI elements like the material dialog and floating menus are dynamically created and thus are out of the app hierarchy where we are adding our dark mode class. To fix this, we can uh, use an overlay container which Angular provides. Now let's just extract the dark mode class name into a separate variable so that we can reuse it. And let's get our container equals to this dot overlay container dot get container element and dot class list so let's make it class list okay and so if our switch is toggled we are going to 
add a class name with the dark mode class and if it is not toggled then we are going to remove it great now if we test the dark mode we will see that yes the dialog is turning dark as well great so that's it and as you can see using this method we can add not only a dark mode but also several different themes to our app and switch between them at runtime this allows us to have cool new features in our app where we where the users can set their own custom themes according to their preferences i hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was please subscribe to my new channel to get more content like this if you guys have any confusion or query about what I did here, just add a comment below and I'll get back. Thanks. Happy coding.